guys welcome to another amazing video um i just want to use this opportunity to thank you for always coming back to check out my videos today's going to be really amazing i'm going to be talking about component sets how to create component properties creating instances component variants and um also boolean properties so um without missing much of your time i'll like to show you what it looks like in a bit so um in this video you'll be able to create something just as sleek as this creating different component set creating small and large buttons adding um icons adding all of these guys changing your components so i'm um, changing your icons changing your button size to bigger sizes adding all of these guys as um as good as it look like so um without wasting much of your time let's get started all right so first thing i'll do is i like to um recreate all of these guys so we start from scratch so um i created a very nice um flow for us to go through together and um i would like us to say true so we're creating the button first with auto layout then add an icon in the button create a component set create a variant of that component create an instance of that same component and also create a text property and also a boolean property so um let's get started so um first let me duplicate these guys which is my icons um also detach them so they are like um a single um yeah so so first what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on our text icon here which is um to create a text so what we're creating is a button first we're creating a button um the font i'm using is inter if you want to follow along and um first um we're going to create an auto layout to create this button so when you click on your um a keyboard um, when you type on your keyboard shift a you automatically create an auto layout um for your button and um you can give it a feel by clicking on this panel here and um i would like to give it a gradient because i kind of like like a juicy gradient button so let's see let's use another color so let's use the darker side of this guy so let's give it um a kind of like very nice color so i don't know why i'm going for pink ball <laughs> this is came to me right now so i kind of like want to use a bright color really so that's it so um let's give it a round color button yeah round color button or maybe yeah let's just set it up round color button then change the color of this vertex to white so our button can pop so that's that's one bit then um you can decide to give it padding proper padding so we have on um, 10 around now or most times buttons have um at the edge at the um upper side is always um x and um this guy on the side is always 2x so this is 10 and we can see this guy is 20. yes so we're good all right so first like we mentioned we already um closed out the first stage which is auto layout for our button so we already have auto layout as well but so let's make this text kind of medium or semi bold because it's a button so it needs to be um epic or how do i put it, it needs to be solid rather <laughs> so we already created our auto layout and um these guys out there so we're adding an icon so i already um brought out some icons on presets so um so um before we even use our so we're creating a component out of this button out of this guy here. 
we're making all of our icons components and um, also creating a component for this guy then we are now creating a component so currently we're creating a component so now um now we are on step three which is creating the component so we just match that and this is what it looks like so now we can now create instances can you see this nice amazing um dash what's it uh, dash container around our icon also we'll be creating more so now the nice um part of all the stuff is we're creating we're scaling them this is a new property figma as which is really amazing we can make this times two sorry about that so we can make this times two if whatever we're looking at is um this big so we can make that button times two and also we can make this guy this is one currently then this is 0 0.75 and this is 0 0.25 so we have um, three nice amazing buttons in as a variant one this big button so the next thing we're doing now is now we have um, a different property for all of these guys which is this so when we click on this outer layer this is the instance the first thing you see is the first thing you see here is this guy edit property what the property does is we're giving name which is button sizes button sizes then the first one is big juicy button we said we're going to name it big button big button then the next um the next one we're given the next one we're given the um image um say um medium button or just a semi medium <coughs> that's weird though semi medium button I don't know why I'm clicking on pressing like this. Then the last is let's say medium. Then the uh, yeah, the final one is small button. Nice. So um that's that. And um we can also create maybe a long button. Then I'll call it long button. Maybe if you want to create a button for web and you don't currently have it you can say okay a button for web you can create this and say web button or long button or long button so that's that about that so now what we'll be creating now is we already created variants variant so the other one we're going to create now is instance and moving on to text property so creating instance instance is just creating we're moving on to this guy so you, you can see that all of them they are all changing at long button small button medium semi and big button you can see they are all changing at every time they are changing so that that's really amazing so now what we'll be doing is we're creating instances for these guys so the first instance we'll be creating is we're creating instance swap for the icon which is now what we're going to do is instance we're saying icon we're going to name it as icon instance instance then the first one we're showing is the arrow then there's a property here that says show or select preferred values when you click on preferred values all the icons we have here is add user those are the icons i want to show if i have more than that i can only say okay 
then I have this other one here, which is so I'm creating I'm showing just three. And those are the three icons I want to show. So that's nice. So then for my text property too, I can come here to the layer, but this is for brilliant. So I can come here now and say this button now as icon swap. So I can now say now I can change this button to any type of button. If I can say okay next or when you click on this button you get a drop down when you click on this guy you have an arrow for next and when you click on this guy you can have a user button more like sign up so that works for that so we need to add the same property to every um other um guy so we already created the instance so we, we don't need to start naming them again so we just add them as a property on it so icon instance is what is named so that's perfect so any button you bring out now has that same property which is having user having um drop down and all of that so that's really amazing um feature on figma for creating a component set all right so moving on um the next one we're knocking off is text property so text property now when you click on this button we have on content so we can create text property from content so we have text then we have value the value is whatever we we need to make this um it's more, more like a placeholder default placeholder so we, we can call it placeholder or i think the text there is this so let's just use let's just update it a little so that shows so this guy shows currently so it's nice and um we now have this text property for this guy so if i come here now i can change this text to whatever i like i can say um sign up the button changes to sign up and that's one property that's one of the properties that looks really good so i'm adding the same text property to all of the other buttons as a component so you can end up creating a component for yourself from a single project and always have a nice button for yourself over and over. So that that's on that. So um the next one we're looking at is the Boolean property. I've been I've been wanting to get there since well <gasps> finally we're there. So um having Boolean properties just I know the English is very crazy, I you know the English is very crazy, called Boolean because um, maybe you need the mass student to know that, but really Boolean is, um, in Figma, is something very easy that everybody should understand because it's not just, it's just, it's not rocket science, it's just one big English that they use but I will simplify it now so you can all get what I'm trying to say so, so what Boolean does is Boolean is just a layer now this button has an icon and also has a text now, if I try to create a boolean for this layer, create a boolean property for this text. Now, I'll just say, okay, show button. That's what I'll say. Show button says true. So that's the first property. Show button say true. Then, if I don't want to show, see the, the this guy now, show button is there. So if I don't want to show button, if I bring this guy out now, Sorry about that. If I bring this guy out now, if I don't want to show button, it remains just icon. That's what Boolean does. It toggles on and off. So let's move on. I'm coming here again. This guy should say show. I'm creating another property which is false. So I'm creating this property now and it says show icon. So if it's false, if I'm bringing this guy out, it says show icon and I'm not I'm moving this button and it doesn't show anymore. Just only icon next button. And this guy shows only button and this guy shows. So I'll need to add the same property to all of my buttons. So, so for this guy to shows and also for this guy it shows. No, oh, so I already added it to this guy. So if I come now and say semi button, it also has its own 
change. So I can say O text O button. You can see that. Then I can say for medium. Also, I can change and say sign up. I say sign up. It changes, and I can change my icons over and over to so whatever I need and it's just it's just so amazing I can say drop down I'll come here and say drop down so it's just it's just really amazing how how nice the entire thing is and I can still come here and change it myself and say okay button and it just appears here once so that is really um how cool creating um, um, amazing um, component feature on Figma from from um, from Chicket. Now it's just so amazing, and I'm really happy for this feature on Figma because it saves you a lot of stress. It helps you even create your design system properly. So from auto layout to add icons. To components, to variants, to instance, to text property, to boolean. I hope I've been able to simplify this in a way that it doesn't really confuse anybody and that I've been able to convince you to start using a very nice um, process to create some of your buttons. So it enables you to have a proper work system. If it, if it, it helps you to like make your work faster. Because now I don't have to create a lot of buttons again in my life. All I just need to do is create maybe a four type type of button for this guy and say that I need um, and maybe create create a button that that is rectangle in shape with these same properties and I can only speak them from wherever I have um, from for different projects with these properties and if I need it to have um a and a an icon or a text or whatever it is it just shows so today is just for button next week we'll be talking about input fields that has the same property the same boolean property so um sure to like comment drop um a lot of comments about this if you don't get and i can only share the design file if you need them can let us request in my comment section i will always um, send that out on request also um so next week like i said i'll be working on input fields and you guys can always try and on that too before the video comes out so um thanks for staying to this end and um, I would like to have you back in my next video. And um, please drop your like, share this video, comment on it, tell a friend. And um, it's really going to go for it. It's, going to, it's really going to upbeat this platform. And um, I will see you guys soon. Thank you.